Hello everybody, and welcome to my first video back in forever. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Our Darker Purpose. Uh, we're just going to do one run. Just, you know, to get back into recording and talking. And actually I should move my mouse off the screen, even though you guys can't see it, I sure can, and it is annoying. One second. I didn't change my class period, so I should go do that. So, uh, it's been a while. I do have old videos to upload, and I'll go and do that. I don't want to do hacking mercantilism. Let's try, uh... I like that one. Maybe hacking too, actually? We got on like this. Top cloud kills always yield coins. That's pretty good. I guess, but I don't use chalk nearly as much as I should. Uh, I don't think mud is all that good, so I'll just take these three. Okay, there we go. So, um... Okay, so... Where have I been? What have I been doing? Well, uh... Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, school being in session did kind of slow me down and dissuade me from making videos, even though I tried. And then uh, I tried again in December of this year. Oh my goodness. And uh, I really just couldn't. It was so difficult. And by the way, the item we picked up made it a little bit darker, but also made me move quite a bit faster. Uh... Fragile glassware is pretty good, if we can afford it later on. We actually might be able to afford it after this room. I see at least one token, but it looks like it's just going to be one. Unless this desk spider drops one, which would be extremely lucky. He did not. Or it, I guess, did not. But, uh, still we've got a chance to get it. So, uh, but yeah, after I got sick in December, I dropped the ball, and, uh, once I stopped making videos for that one week, I just couldn't make myself make more. But, uh, now that I've started trying to stream again, I will also try and record again. This is actually a rather small floor. I guess for the first floor, though, it's not that small. Uh, sorry. This is uh, one of those games where I need to be thinking and looking and stuff. So, I have been really digging this game. I don't know if most of you guys have played it. I don't know if I found an audience of people who would be playing this. Let's see. I have never, I don't know, I've never really found this out of a good book. But, uh, let's try it this time since I don't really like either option very much. That item that he dropped was worth much more in my opinion. So we'll take this ju juice box, not the juke box, and then get out of here. And by get out of here, I mean fight the boss, which I guess I still have to do. Froth the dragon's not that bad. He's just annoying. Which causes me to take lots of damage on him, because I don't like annoying things. Uh, so. Things to talk about. I don't... I do not. I do not know what I want to do on the channel from now on. I I really don't. Because, like, what do I really want to do more than anything else? Crusader Kings 2, but I can't. I cannot get a machine that is good to record Crusader Kings 2. Uh, and I almost don't think I want to, because uh, people would find out I'm pretty bad at Crusader Kings 2. Not like, not bad, like someone who's just started playing the game bad. But, uh, only 100, 200 hours in it, so not the best, that's for sure. 
What I'm probably going to be recording is stuff like uh, Our Darker Purpose, Magicite, uh, Coin Crypt. Uh, I'll go to the landmark just because I like finding the finding uh, the those uh, memory rooms, which is what the whatever thing landmarked was. It has memory rooms in it. Sorry, uh, thinking and strafing and dodging and yeah. Let's see. So, um, oh, I forgot you can go around back and fight them as well. I remember fighting this room before and going, oh, you can do that, and then, you know, forgetting immediately after. Can you just die? You gave me a stuck on the train. So, let's see. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, things you can expect from the channel. Oh, he's going back up again, I forgot. Tire point of a memory room, and I forgot. Basically, uh, basically those things. And I'm going to start doing more Dawn of War. That was mostly what I was doing before I left. And, uh, I'm doing more. I've got two more episodes that, uh, I hadn't uploaded before I left. And, I've got a couple games that I played, but have not recorded commentary for. So I won't actually remember what happened in those games, which would be interesting. Double XP, that's nice. Or no, plus half. Are you kidding me? Not so much for the damage, are you kidding me, but just because I forgot to do the archival room again. So, uh... But yeah. So this, my channel is probably going to be where those games go. And then I'm probably going to be doing my audio surf thing on my Twitch channel. Let's see. Enemies twice as likely to drop tokens, that's good. But yeah, so if you guys remember my Twitch and liked watching audio surf on there, then that's mostly what I'm going to be doing. Just, you know, more like a radio show than uh, actually gaming. Because I don't like actually playing games on Twitch. I mean, I kind of do, to a degree, and I will be playing Our Darker Purpose on there for the first couple of weeks. But, uh, I don't know. I like the more laid-back radio show perspective. And let's actually go and get that, uh, guy. He's up near the starting room. Okay, let's see he's over here. For those of you who do not know, it looks like he's going into the bottom wall here. For those of you who do not know, that guy basically is exactly like a secret room in Isaac. You follow him, he'll eventually walk into a wall, and uh, then that is the secret room. Let's see here. Another thing that you guys should be able to expect on the channel is 100% uh, orange juice. Just because, you know, I want to play that game. And uh, I've got people to play it with. So. Oh, I'm gonna have to, to fight him. So, uh, much like also in this, the Secret Rooms in Isaac, occasionally you get goodies. Sometimes, though, you just get greed. And uh, the Archivist is basically greed. He's the mini boss for this room. But uh, I think it's good to fight him because that means you get an item. It's a guaranteed item. And the projectile slowing field is nothing to scoff at. So. Okay, here's where the boss door is. Uh, oh, goodness. Those two bubbles haven't gone yet. Let's see what's in here. Something good, please. Escher's Compass, uh, not the best. Shy Stella's Diary is really good, so we're going to work on getting that. 
it was worth 12 and we have 11. So we need one more, probably in that last room, which is going to be unlikely. Didn't we just miss a good item out of the shop? Or is that me remembering wrong? I thought we did. These guys. This room always makes me want to blow my chalk on it, just because I want to kill as many of these things as possible. Because, you know, they give me experience. What's that? Oh, that's so good. Okay. Uh, I'm totally fine with missing that last room. This, uh, the Von de Graaff generator. For those of you who don't know what it actually is, uh, it's that thing that, like, you may have seen when you were a kid at, like, on some science programming show thing. Oh, crap, I didn't know that that set off those other things. But on, like, a science programming, science children's programming, it's, uh, basically what it does is it makes your hair stick up on end. It's that thing where you, like, you touch your hand to it and your hair sticks up on end. So, uh, it, I've never used one myself, but I have, I had to assemble it for my, uh, for the physics class. Not my physics class, because I wasn't taking physics at the time. But, uh, I still had to assemble it because I was a teacher's assistant. Oh, goodness, where is he? But, uh, what it does in the game, though, is it makes those little electricity blobs show up all around me, doing damage, a, a very good amount of damage. Can I really not get that one thing? Oh, there we go. Now, if any of those things make it to that main cauldron, then, uh... If any of those ma things made it to the main cauldron, they would heal him for 580, 520 health. Now, if you don't remember, there's a little blue field around me, or if I didn't mention it actually, that must also have been the case, is a projectile slowing field. So, uh, yeah. The majority of these shots, this, this makes this fight so much easier, because it is nowhere near as difficult to dodge all those things when they're slowed. All those little knives. Because this is normally an extremely tough fight. Uh, it's still pretty harsh, but it's not nearly as harsh with uh, the items I have. Crap. I say that and get hit, but, uh. You know. Happens. Though definitely if I were better than this particle slowing field, it should mean that I shouldn't take damage on a fight like this. Mm -hmm. Almost over. There. Oh, I can. And also, I have been getting messages, people wanting uh, more keyboard sandbox. Oh, well, it's close. We are gonna play Gluttonous because I want more juice boxes. But uh, I have had people messaging me playing more Keyboard Sandbox, and um, I will try. I will try to do at least one more episode, but I won't upload it if it's not good, is the thing. So, you know. One more episode will be attempted. Who knows if it's going to get uploaded or not. It probably won't, to be honest. But, uh... We will see. I'll probably upload it as unlisted. And then, uh... Link to it in a different video. Just for those of you who want to watch it. Now, those little green clouds... Confuse you when they hit you. So that you... All of your keys get reversed. Let's see here. That's good. Mm. And it is definitely what we're going to take. We're on a gluttonous floor. We also dropped the feather dust. Okay. Now we're on a gluttonous floor, so we're going to get a lot of juice boxes. That just makes juice boxes increase my damage by a lot. And for those of you who have not played this game, juice boxes are health potions. I haven't mentioned that, but in case you did not notice and haven't played the game, that is what they do. And they are extremely useful. <sighs> Gotta remember to stay away from those things.
So yeah, when they say plus 20 HP, they mean plus 20 HP and plus 2 damage. Uh, is that gonna kill me? Yeah. This is a very dangerous room for me to just to walk around in. Anything good here? 12. Uh, now, dodging attacks, I don't know what they mean by dodging. Like, is it evading them with, like, dodge chance? Or is it just, like, you know, actually skillfully moving out of the way? And I never have checked, but just in case, we do not have very much dodge chance. So, uh, there's no point. I have a feeling, though, that would be extremely good being comboed with something like, uh, the, uh, there is an item in this game that, uh, the more damage, or if you take less than 100 damage, then, no, it's, uh, it will break within 100 damage, but rolling gives you max dodge chance. And that would be crazy good for that one, because then you could just keep rolling through, like, fire and farm up, you know, basically, what is... Oh, that's so good. Farm up infinite, uh, money. Oh, and that is an extremely good item. Looks like this run is shaping up to be nice. Though I do not think we'll... Actually, we might be able to make it to moon ports. Oh, ah, hopefully we won't. Now I have only made it to uh, past the Woundwarts Fortress. That's what I mean, not to, but past the Woundwarts. Uh, I've only made it past that place twice. Hi, Sudsy. So, uh, yeah, I don't have the best track record, but. Uh, no, I can. Sorry, I'm trying to think and play this game at the same time, which I already deemed uh, borderline impossible. But I said borderline just to keep myself okay. You know, because everyone's nitpicky. Okay, uh, Sudsy's gone. Now I already got the uh, thing for killing Sudsy with the uh, spikes. And we are at Woundwarts. Which is good. We should level up after this room, that'll be nice. And another one of these things, two more. We should be able to buy a uh, good item. Got I got that. Mm-hmm. Now, we're only 20 minutes in, that's weird, I guess. I would have expected this to take longer. 20% more damage against bosses. I wish I could check my skills. I press C. No, I can't. The percent damage is just more useful. The attack speed's nice, anyway. But the thing is, if I've... Okay, one second. Let's see, check my damage. About 100. So, technically, it's about the same. I get a little bit of a, of a worse deal from not taking the just plus 20 damage. But I also get higher attack speed, so I guess it works out fine. Nice, those guys are all gone. Oh no, because juice boxes also boost my damage, which is good. That way, so that will scale much better. But it will only scale for bosses, because it will only affect bosses. Still though, I don't think that's very bad. Um, bosses are the main thing that kills me in this game. Nice. Oh, crap. I keep thinking it's E to pick things up, even though it's F. So, uh, that's nice, just 12 tokens. And here's a vending machine at which we can spend them. 
What's this? Level up instantly after the next room. Oh, that sounds extremely good. And we'll try and get the fedora as well. Mm. We can do something where we just try and get as many juice boxes as possible and use them to bolster ourselves. We're going to get this because that, in combination with our last skill, would be very nice. So that basically just gives us two extra damage to bosses, as well, 22 extra damage to bosses. Which combos nicely with our last skill. And, uh, I do not want to depend on juice boxes more than I already do. You really should not be putting all of your eggs in one basket in a roguelike like this. That's not like me saying that I know anything about this game in general, considering I've only played I only got it just today. But rather that just roguelike sense. And life sense, I guess. Well held basic attacks deal twenty five percent more damage. That's cool. Oh Oh, it takes the spot of a use item. Okay, then this is going to take some thinking. Wait. No, that's not my amplified damage. Okay, so wait a second. 25% of 120. 25, 25% of 20 is like 5. So it's 30 damage. I'll do 30 extra damage, that means that my use item needs to do less than 30 extra damage. Which does it do? Each hit does 88. So, uh, but it's on a 25 second cooldown where that's always. And that 25, I don't know if the 25% and the 30% stacks. I'm just gonna go with the use item, I'm glad I picked it up, but it just the use item seems better. It's got the potential, I think, to do a, oh no, technically the other one has the potential to do a lot more damage. It's just, when it hits, it's nice. And it doesn't always hit, I guess, so it's kind of stupid not to take the other one. And I'm not really committed to either choice. I can't go. See though, look at that, it just outright destroyed her without me having to get anywhere near her. I just think this is a better choice. Uh, okay. So, we are going to have to fight Goneril soon, which is going to be extremely annoying. I assume that those birds chase after me because they look like they've always been going towards me and not hitting any of the enemies I can't really see. Which I guess just makes sense, either towards me or towards a random part of the room or towards the middle part of the room. Let's see, will I hit this guy? Oh, <laughs> my lightning got a critical on him, so, oh, he said we do not want to go in there yet because that is the, uh, boss of wound warts and we have 18 meritory kill tokens. So let's see what we can get from uh, that place down there. Uh, the fedora? Okay, let's see. We can get the disquieting drought and then a juice box and then some. I think, I think we can get multiple juice boxes. Let's get a juice box first. Ah, oh, we're at full of juice boxes. Okay, well, we're gonna get a juice box no matter what. Okay, we can get another one. Now, should we get the fedora? It's only when we're under 25% health. Actually, you know what? I'll just take this and take that. Oh, we're up max juice boxes. We'll take the second juice, juice box. My reasoning is that, uh... That's... Five extra health for five juice boxes, plus the other juice box I just bought. So that's that is forty. 
I don't know if the 25% damage would save me 40 health on the boss, and I don't really care about surviving the entire game more so than surviving the, just this floor. We don't even have a chance to survive the entire game if we don't survive here. That's my, uh, that's my reasoning at least. And I am still not, uh, very convinced that I will always, or even most of the time, survive this fight. I think Goneril is a, a little too strong for me, just in general. Speaking of... Yeah, oh, I didn't use any of my juice boxes. Ugh. Sometimes I don't think. Yeah, that got me nothing. Well, we're almost at 30 minutes. So, uh, that'll be it for me. Next time, I'll try to actually use my juice boxes. Uh, leave a comment if you guys want to see more darker, our darker purpose. Uh, leave a comment with what game you want to see, either a game from the past or a game that I mentioned today, or check out my Steam profile and, uh, you know, look through the games I've got and tell me, tell me what you want to watch. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys some other time, I guess. I don't know when this is coming out. I guess it depends on how big the file is. If I have to edit it, then it will probably come out within a couple of weeks. Or next week, or something. Uh, uh yeah, though, this should be it. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh... Thank you for being here, I guess. I will see you upon the next video. Upon the recording of the next video. Or, you know, tomorrow if you watch my stream. I'll see you tomorrow for those people. Okay. Till then.